Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 34. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to remotely start or stop DB2 instance from a client machine. This slide talks about the problem. The problem is like the functionality that we are looking for is we want to start or stop the DB2 instance remotely from a client machine. So when I, when I mean, what I mean here uh, by a client machine is actually another uh, physical server apart from the DB2 server. So you don't need to log in to the DB2 server and uh, issue the start stop commands. You can do it from a, another machine also. So let us, before discussing about the solution, we'll discuss about the setup or the environment. So there is server A with DB2 server software installed and server A is configured with instance and databases. So the server A is actually the database server which is uh, 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 which, uh, to which all the applications will get connected to for the data requirement. Okay. Server B is another physical uh, machine with DB2 server software installed. Uh, but uh, in server B, there is only a default instance DB2 INST1 and no databases uh, in there. Okay, so because server B is only for the purpose of connecting to server A and uh, restarting the uh, instances like that. Okay. So we are going to use server B as a client machine. Okay. So this talks about the solution. So the solution is very simple and straightforward. You can go to server B. Okay issue the command straight away db2 stop dbm remote instance name the instance name should be the instance name of the server a in which the db2 instance is running host name followed by the ip address or the host name of the server a user username using password so similarly if you want to start the instance remotely you can issue the command db2 start dbm remote instance name host name ip address user username using password so the important thing is from server b you are uh, starting or stopping the instance which is running on server A, okay, DB2 instance which is running on server A. That's what you are doing here. Uh, there are some limitations. This particular feature is not available in IBM data server client software. So if your server B has IBM data server client software installed, this particular functionality of starting and stopping the instance remotely is not available. So you will have to install the DB2 data server software on the server B machine also. Okay. And this remote stop command, right? Uh, the stop command with that remote option. So that is not at all documented in your information center also, okay? So we'll let us just quickly uh, get into the examples and we'll uh, give a demonstration of uh, this uh, capability or functionality. Okay. So for that, what I'm doing is, I'm having already one instance. So db2 get instance. So this is uh, my INST. This is my Windows machine, uh, Windows 7 machine. This is actually my database server. Okay, the instance name is uh, db2, uh, the instance name is myinst. So I'm going to stop the instance. So this is how you typically do in your environment. So no start database manager was issued. Okay, so if I started here, I am just logging into this server itself and starting. This is not a remote start or remote stop example. So look at what I'm doing now for remote start or remote stop. I'm having a virtual box machine here. Okay, so this is like a Oracle VM virtual box. So here in this, uh, this will behave like a virtual machine with Ubuntu OS in it. So I'm logging in as db2 inst1, db2 inst1, okay. So this is like a remote machine. So this machine can connect to server A and server B, the connectivity is there, okay. And from here, I can issue the start and stop commands to start and stop the instance which are in the, uh, uh, you know server a so this is mine so db2 pd hyphen edu so which means that unable to attach to database manager please ensure the start has been run because this instance is not up okay now we'll come here so once i come here what i'll do first i'll just show you the product okay so it is uh, installed the product is installed in opt ibm db2 v 9.7 it's a server product and uh, from here i can issue db2 start start let me just first stop the instance stop dbm remote okay the instance name my inst then host name host name will be the ip address 192.168.137.1 followed by user harish using harish So now it is actually trying to stop the instance which is in the 
host name 192.168.137.1 which is my windows server not the ubuntu machine so now you can see that the message it says no start database manager command was issued okay because it is not uh, started right so let me start okay that's all is the change db2 start dvm remote my inst host name user using so now this particular command should start the instance which is in a windows server okay remote machine okay so it is taking some time so once it is started we can uh, check whether it is up or uh, see the start database manager completed successfully so you can come here issue db2 hyphen edb2 pd hyphen edu you can see that the instance is up and running now okay so i just clear this so you got that how to do the remote start now we uh, stop the instance again here so you issue the same command db2 stop dbm remote uh, instance name host name user user there is no need to catalog any nodes or anything like that uh, it's a remote command completely so it, it should work right away so now i'll give you again db2 pd edus see the instance came down in the windows server so this is a very simple and straightforward way of doing uh, remote start and remote stop from a uh, different machine okay uh, thank you so much for watching uh, please subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy see you in the next tutorial until then bye bye